in Jesus' name we have worship. I cover you all with the blood of Jesus. I soak our hearts with the blood of Jesus. Father, we are here by your mercy. We are here, Lord, not because we are holy. We are here, Lord, not because we are faithful. We are here, Lord, not because we are holy. You are the only holy God. You are the only righteous God. There is no one like you. Lord, everywhere, anywhere, who hears your voice has never withstood because you are Jehovah El Shaddai because you are Jehovah Overdue so here we are in your presence by any principality by any voice of darkness that has been released here today against your Father, I stand here under the grace of my Father and I speak, Lord, under the authority of Jehovah that let those voices, let them decide in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, wherever your people, Lord, has been held captive, is it my spirit? Is it us, ancestral powers further from today from that cage where destiny are released from that cage where marriages are released from that cage where children are released from that cage where colleagues are released in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ Father, I commit their hands into your hands, O oh Lord. Père, je le coeur. You are the one that sees. Tu es celui qui voit. You are the one that hears. Tu es celui qui entend. And you are the one that knows. Et celui qui Lord, you know their heart. Père, tu les Even coeurs. more than themselves. Plus que eux Lord, même. you can see them. Père, tu peux more than men can see them. Plus Father, que I que pray, Lord. Père, je prie. Then may you grant to them, O oh Lord, que tu les donnes the desires of their heart les de leur coeur. according to your will. Comme in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus we have prayed. Father, Father, we and God bless you. The Lord is good. And all the time. Somebody turn to your neighbor and say neighbor. Give your neighbor a handshake. Say neighbor. Say neighbor. Do you know why you are here? Say neighbor, why do you come to church? Say neighbor, do you really know church? What is your neighbor saying? Hallelujah. Good. And all the time. Once more, you are all welcome in Jesus' name. Une fois de plus, vous êtes la bienvenue. Welcome into the house of the Lord. Bienvenue dans la maison du Seigneur. Amen. Remember, as we are here today. Que comme nous ici Each and every one of us, parmi nous, we have an expectation. On a une attente. But let me let me prepare your minds. Ton coeur. Your expectation of coming here d'être ici is not based on a man of God. Ce n'est pas basé sur l'homme de your Dieu. expectation of coming here today d'être ici is not based on what God can do ce n'est pas basé sur ce que Dieu or peut what God cannot do. Ou ce que Dieu ne peut pas your faire. expectation of coming here today d'être ici aujourd'hui is one for you to glorify God. Let me tell you why we come to church. Amen. One of the main reasons why we come to church is to glorify God. That is to encounter God. And when you have encountered God, the second reason is for you to learn the spiritual intelligence that means the laws and the principles of God. And next is for you to build your faith. How do you build your faith? When we sing, when we praise, when we worship, our faith is being built. Hallelujah. And the next thing why we come to church is for us to extend the kingdom of God. Whatever you do in the house of the Lord is an extension of his kingdom. And the last thing, not the least, is that we come in the presence of God in the house of the Lord to seek mercy 
pour demander sa miséricorde pour demander son aide et pour demander sa force that means there is a dimension of God's strength that comes de upon la puissance you de Dieu qui vient sur any toi. moment you come into the house of Chaque the Lord dans la maison de Dieu. and this strength et cette you force, don't have it in the marketplace tu ne, tu ne peux pas avoir and ton this marché. strength et cette you force, don't have it in your job site tu ne peux pas avoir cela dans ton lieu so de travail day you come to, donc chaque jour que tu viens à l'église no matter what happens to you peu importe ce qui t'arrive whether a prophecy be given to you même si on te prophétise Word of blessings. Même si c'est une parole de bénédiction. Know that you have access another dimension of God's strength. Tu es entré dans une autre dimension. That is going to empower you. Qui va t'impacter. For what you are about to do. Pour ce que tu es sur le point de faire. Or what God has called you to do. Ou ce que Dieu t'a appelé de faire. Alleluia. Amen. Remember that we all. Rappelons-nous que nous tous. Here today. Ici présent. We are the children of God. Nous sommes les enfants de Dieu. And let me assure you. Et laisse-moi t'assurer. That because you are a child of God. Que parce que tu es un enfant de Dieu. Does not mean that. Ça ne veut pas dire. God can send you for his mission. The mission of God is not just only to be a man of God. The mission of God could be that God wants to use you in your family as a thing. God wants to use you in your nation as a governor. God wants to use you in your church as a singer. God wants to use you as a man of God for something he wants to do in the world. But most that we all are available nous tous, nous but not all can be sent Mais pas tout le monde peut être so today Donc we will be learning about a sent vessel Vous allez apprendre le, le, la vase va what faire. is the vessel Vase? Who is that vessel Qui est cette vase that God can send? Que Dieu peut envoyer. Because you are available Parce que tu es disponible. does not mean that you can be sent. Ne veut pas, ne veut pas dire que tu peux because être you, are, you have the calling of God Parce que tu as l'appel de Dieu. does not guarantee n'est pas une preuve. that God is going to send you. Que Dieu peut envoyer. Because you have gone to school Parce que tu peux à l'école. is not a guarantee C'est pas une preuve. that God is going to give you a good job. Que Dieu va te donner un bon travail. Because you are married Parce que tu es marié. does not guarantee you that you are going to enjoy the blessings of marriage. It is true from the Bible marriage is from God and it is a good thing but there is something beyond the good thing. The Bible only tells us the good part of it but there is a condition attached to everything that God can release to men. Hallelujah. So because you have been coming to church it is a good thing. But all the things we do, they can be good. But they are not right with God. Hallelujah. So you are giving in church. You are coming to church. You are singing in church. You are praying in church. You are dancing in church. All these are good in the hand of the sight of God. But they, can, they are not right in the heart of God. Hallelujah. So it means your activities, Ça veut dire tes activities the things you do, les choses que tu they fais, can be correct. Ça peut être correct. You help people, tu aider les help gens, the needy. Aide ceux qui you ont as a man of God, toi, en tant pray pour for people, prier pour les healing gens, people, guérir les do gens, evangelism, that is good très bien in the sight of God. Au côté de Dieu. But there is still something Mais il y a encore that God needs to find out in you que Dieu doit encore before he can mark you right. Avant qu'il peut And that is why I am here today pour ça, je suis ici by the Spirit of the Lord par le Saint to tell you Pour te dire what you need to do first que tu dois faire before you prepare to encounter avant what you préparer need to know first ce que tu dois before you begin to ask God for avant healing tu à what you healing. need to know first que tu dois before you begin to seek God avant de Dieu. before you begin to pray avant de prier. and ask God to increase you de de to increase your business de augmenter, to bless de your children de bénir tes to grant you favor de te donner la there is something God needs to test in you and that is what we are going to be seeing now by the spirit of the Lord. So please, no matter where you are coming from, no matter your background, no matter your title, what you are, what you are about to hear now, it is beyond being a servant of God. It is beyond being a grandmother. It is beyond being a big sister. It is what the spirit will speak to you that will coordinate your heart and you will know what God wants. Not your prayers. Not your Bible story. Not your good. 
but not your fine face, not your title. Pas ton Let us go to our Bibles. Alors, Second Chronicles. Deuxième chronique. Second Chronicles, chapter 25. Je lis dans l'Esprit du Seigneur. Amasia devint roi à l'âge de 25 ans. Et il régna 29 ans à Jérusalem. Sa mère s'appelait Jojadan et de Jérusalem. Verset 2. Il fit ce qui est droit aux yeux de l'Éternel, mais avec un cœur qui n'était pas entièrement dévoué. Parole du Seigneur. Second Chronicles chapter 25. Amaziah was 25 years old when he began to reign. And he reigned 29 years in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Jehodan of Jerusalem. Second Chronicles chapter 25 and verse 1 and 2. Verse 2. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord, but not with a perfect heart. Hallelujah. Let me check it again. Please open your ears. Give me your understanding. And hear what the Lord is saying. Amaziah was 25 years old when he began to reign. That means you can put your name there. Whatever be your name. That means that was the age that Amaziah came to know about God. That was the year he began to go to church. And the Bible says, and he reigned for 29 years in Jerusalem. That means as he encountered God, Ça veut dire que quand il a rencontré Dieu, at the age of 25, when he has been going to church mais il avait à for 29 years, 25, 29 ans. imagine how long he has been, he has been going to church. Imagine, combien des années imagine the time he has been paying in church. Imagine, le temps qui prie à imagine the offerings he has been given in imagine church. Les offerings qui à imagine the people he has been praying for. Imagine, les gens qui imagine the crowd he has in church. La foule avait As a man of God. En tant homme de Dieu. Listen again. Écoutez encore. That he reigned for 29 years in Jerusalem. Jerusalem is the house of God. Hallelujah. Are we together? Est-ce que nous sommes ensemble? Jerusalem, Jerusalem is the city of God. C'est la ville de Dieu. Anyone that came from Jerusalem, toute personne qui venait de Jérusalem, they were all Christians. Ils étaient des chrétiens. None were pagans. Personne n'était And they were going to church. Et ils partaient à l'église. Hallelujah. Amen. And the Bible went further and said that his mother's name was Jehovah of Jerusalem. That means even the mother of Amaziah. Ça veut dire que même la mère de Amaziah belongs to church also. Était aussi à l'église. That means she also came from a Christian family. Ça veut dire qu'elle sort d'une famille chrétienne. But now let us listen. Mais écoutons. To all the activities. De toutes les activités. To all the things. Tous les choses. That Amaziah was doing. Que Amaziah. When faisait. he was going to church for 29 years. Quand il partait à l'église pendant 29 ans. Verse 2. Verse 2. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord. Amen. Amen. What are the things that you do that are right in the sight of the Lord? Quelles sont les choses que tu dois faire qui sont justes côté de Dieu? Quand tu viens à l'église, it is right in the sight of the Lord. C'est juste au côté de Dieu. When you help your brother, quand tu aides ton frère, when you help your sister, quand tu aides ta sœur, it is right in the sight of the Lord. C'est juste au côté de Dieu. When you pay tight in church, quand tu payes les dîmes, when you support the man of God, quand tu soutiens l'homme de Dieu, when you give up cheap, quand tu donnes, it is right in the sight of the Lord. C'est juste au côté de Dieu. But listen to the last part of it. Mais écoutons la dernière version de cela. And the Bible says. But not with a perfect heart. Hallelujah. This brings us to the of our message. Ça, the la purity la of la your heart la is what God wants. Ce que Dieu veut. Say neighbor. Dis voisin. Somebody touch your neighbor. Say Dis, neighbor. Ta voisine, dis voisine. Say neighbor. Dis voisin. The purity la of your heart de ton is what God wants. Ce que Dieu veut. Are we together? Est-ce que nous sommes ensemble? So how can somebody be be as a man of God? Comment quelqu'un peut être en tant que homme de Dieu? Be as a Christian. 
être comme chrétien. Be as a big man être comme un grand for 29 years. And the Bible records a, a sad story about him. Mais la Bible enregistre une histoire qui n'est pas bonne de lui. And says he has been doing that. Et la Bible dit qu'il faisait which cela. Was right in the sight of God. Qui était juste au côté de Dieu. But not with a perfect heart. Mais pas avec un, un cœur entièrement. What is the Bible telling us? Qu'est-ce que la Bible nous dit? That means you are coming to church. Ça veut dire que toi être à l'église. You are dancing in church. Toi danser à l'église. You are prayer as a man of God. Ta prière en tant qu'homme de Dieu. They are right in the sight of the Lord. C'est juste au côté de Dieu. But if your heart is not pure. Mais si ton cœur n'est pas pur. God has nothing to do in that prayer. Dieu n'a rien à faire avec cette prière. Are we blessed this morning? Est-ce que nous sommes bénis ce matin? So if your activities Ça veut dire tes activités can be correct. Peut être droit. Your joy. Mais ta, ta, ta joie. In serving God can be correct. Peut être juste en servant Dieu. But your heart. Mais ton cœur. Has a different motive. A un autre motif. In doing what you are doing. En faisant ce que tu es en train de faire. Amen. Amen. So it is not about what you do. Donc ce n'est pas ce que tu fais. It is not about what you tell people. Ce n'est pas ce que tu dis aux gens. It's not about the preaching. Ce n'est pas la prédication. You can preach right. Tu peux prêcher bien. You can do business right. Tu peux faire les affaires bien. You can help people right. Tu peux aider les gens bien. But the results. Mais les résultats. That you are supposed to have. Que tu dois avoir. As a result. En tant que of the things that you are doing. Des choses que tu fais. Does not follow you. Ne te suis pas. It is not because you have sinned. Ce n'est pas parce que tu as It's not because you have committed fornication. Ce n'est pas parce que tu as fornication. You have not lied. Tu n'as pas menti. But your heart. Mais ton cœur. Is not in what you are doing. Ce n'est pas dans ce que tu fais. Amen. Amen. So before your activities. Donc avant tes activités. Before your actions. Avant tes actes. What comes first? Ce qui vient en premier. Is the purity of your heart. C'est la sainteté de ton cœur. Are we together? Amen. So it means that. Ça veut dire que. If you want to come to church. Now, si tu veux venir à l'église maintenant, if I want to bless you now, si je veux te bénir maintenant, God's attention, l'attention de Dieu, God's main purpose, la, le but de Dieu, is not in what I am giving you. Ce n'est pas ce que je te donne. God's main attention, l'attention de Dieu, is the heart, c'est mon cœur, that is doing the giving. Qui fait, qui donne. Are we blessed? Est-ce que nous sommes bénis? So it means your prayers. Ça veut dire tes prières. You are all night prayers. Tes prières de toute la nuit. They are good in the sight of the Lord. C'est bien au côté de Dieu. Oh, you are coming to church. Ou tous comme tu viens. They are good in the sight of the Lord. C'est bien au côté de Dieu. Go for direction. Demandant la direction. It is good in the sight of the Lord. C'est bien au côté de Dieu. But why are you seeking God for direction? Mais pourquoi tu demandes la direction de Dieu? The motive in your heart. La motive dans ton cœur. Is what draws the attention of God to you. C'est ce qui attire l'attention de Dieu vers toi. Alléluia. So it means that ça veut dire que you can be fruitful tu peux être fréquent in the things you do in the house of the Lord. Dans les choses que tu fais dans la maison du you Seigneur. You can be sincere tu peux être sincère as a man en tant qu'homme de Dieu. You can be sincere tu peux être sincère as an evangelist. En tant qu'un évangéliste. You can be sincere tu peux être sincère as a good mother. En tant qu'une bonne femme. But when God searches your heart, mais si ton cœur, there is something He wants to find in it. Quand Dieu fouille ton cœur, il y a quelque chose qu'il veut voir. I want it to be seen. Whatever you are doing, Peu importe ce que tu fais, you are doing it for yourself. Tu fais cela de toi-même. That is why when you see people, c'est pour ça que quand vous voyez les gens, they will tell you, ils vont vous dire, when I was good, quand j'étais bon, I helped them. Je, je les aidais. When aidé. I was team man, quand j'étais, I make sure I help everybody. Je me suis assuré d'aider les autres. It was good in the sight of the Lord. C'était très bien au côté de Dieu. But the state of your heart, the purity of your heart, ton cœur, has been tested, a été testé, and has proven that what you are doing, que ce que tu fais. Was not for the glory of God. Hallelujah. So do not be carried. Don't be deceived by the things you do. Rather be concerned with the reason, with the state of your heart. Why you are doing what you are doing. Hallelujah. You can be a great man of God. A big crowd. Les, as, les, la foule, great people les grands, but yet your life mais ta vie does not produce the results ne produit pas les résultats that you were supposed to receive que tu étais censé recevoir. it is not because you have gone to the devil Ce n'est pas parce que tu allé au diable. it is not because you have visited Satan Ce n'est pas parce que tu as visité Satan. but there is something about you mais il y a quelque chose that God is still looking que for Dieu cherche encore. for God to take you Pour que Dieu in your family and position you to a place of influence as a blessing in your destiny as a blessing in your family God needs to test the purity of your heart are we blessed? 
It is not about who you are. Ce n'est pas qui tu es. You can go to school. Tu peux être à l'école. You have good certificate. Tu as des bons diplômes. You have a good name. Tu as ton nom. You bien. have a good record. Tu as un bon rapport. But there is something about Paul. Mais il y a quelque chose qu'on se demande. God Dieu. wants to know about men. Que Dieu veut connaître. When God does not see it in you. Quand Dieu ne voit pas ça en toi. You are help. Ton, ton you are giving in church. Ce que tu fais à l'église. You are praying for people. Tu as prié pour les gens. You are sponsored by pride. Peut-être. Your activities can be sponsored by your human nature. Hallelujah. The things you do, les choses que tu fais, it can be to show off to people. Ça peut être que tu veux montrer aux gens. God is not interested. Dieu n'est pas intéressé. In your beautiful dresses. Dans tes beaux vêtements. God is not interested. Dieu n'est pas intéressé. From where you are coming from. D'où tu sors. It does not matter your background. Ça ne compte pas ton background. It does not matter who gave birth to you. Ça ne compte pas qui t'a enfanté. But what is the state of your heart? Mais quel est ton ton cœur est comment? What is talking in your heart? Quel est l'état de ton cœur? Is what God is interested. Ce qui parle dans ton cœur, c'est ce que Dieu est intéressé. That's what the Bible says. C'est pour ça que la Bible dit. In Jeremiah chapter 17. Dans Jeremie chapitre 17. Verse 9 and 10. Verset 9 à 10. God told Jeremiah. Dieu a dit à Jeremie. He said Jeremiah. Jeremie. That the heart of man. Que le cœur de l'homme. Is deceitful. Et ça trompe. And desperately wicked. Et c'est méchant. He said, Who can know? Qui peut connaître? Are we together? Est-ce que nous sommes ensemble? He said that when I search the heart of man. Il dit que quand je je fouille le cœur de l'homme. Donc ça veut dire qu'avant que Dieu te récompense, avant que Dieu te bénisse, il y a une chose que Dieu fait. Il fouille ton cœur. Are we together? He said that the heart of men are deceitful. C'est trompé. That means even you yourself. Donc ça veut dire que même toi-même, tu peux te tromper. Even you yourself, même toi-même, you can think that you are righteous. Tu peux croire que tu es juste. You can think that you are holy. Tu peux croire que tu es saint. You can think that you are humble. Tu peux croire que tu es humble. But God needs to test your heart. Mais Dieu doit tester ton cœur. When you have passed through that test, quand tu traverses cette épreuve, when God has touched the things in you, quand Dieu touche ce qui est en toi, that gives you strength, qui te donne la force, and you still stand again, et tu es toujours debout, and call the name of the Lord, et tu appelles toujours le nom de Dieu. Ça veut dire que tu as passé la le test de la sainteté. Alléluia. Forget about the prayers. Oublie les prières. Forget about the Bible study. Oublie les études. Forget biblique. about the humility. Oublie d'être un. You can be humble. Tu peux être un. In your actions. Dans tes actes. But your heart Mais ton is full of pride. Est rempli de l'orgueil. Amen. Amen. You can say in your heart. Tu peux dire dans ton cœur. That when God blesses me, quand Dieu me bénit, I will take care of my family. Je vais prendre soin de ma famille. That is your activities. Ça, ce sont tes activités. But your heart Mais ton cœur is saying that when I am blessed, dit que quand je suis béni, I will build first my house. Je vais d'abord bâtir ma maison. When I am blessed, quand je suis béni, I will make sure I buy my first car. Je vais d'abord acheter ma to première voiture. To show people, pour montrer aux gens que je suis un Dieu vivant. So your confession, tu veux dire ta confession, the ways you do, ce que tu fais, the things you say, les choses que tu dis, they can be right in the sight of God. Le côté de Dieu, everybody, tout le monde, have the freedom to speak. Everybody has the freedom to call the name of God. But only those whose hearts have been purified by God will be able to listen to them. Hallelujah. So please, it does not matter how long you have been coming to church. It does not matter how long You are born to school. It does not matter how long you have served in that office. It does not matter how many children you have. What matters to God is that when he sees a heart that has been purified, a heart that has decided to let go of friends, a heart that has decided to let go of forgiveness, That is the heart that God can look onto. And He said, "Let us go." That was why God called David. That you are the man after my heart. Why was David? Why was David called the man after God's heart? It was because when God searched the heart of David, and God saw in David that this is a king. This is a king. Not just a king. A king who is sincere. A king whose heart. A king whose mindset is to seek first 
the kingdom of God. Et de chercher d'abord la face de Dieu. And when God in David, Et quand Dieu a vu cela à David, God did not hesitate Dieu n'a pas hésité to hide his love de cacher son amour David. de David. And he gave him a title, Et lui a donné un titre l'homme après mon cœur. Ce n'est pas seulement pour un roi, not to, um, to servants of God. pas seulement pour les hommes de Dieu, même si tu es un homme d'affaires, même si tu es un homme à no tenue, peu importe qui tu es, the easiest way la plus facile to seek the attention of God de chercher l'attention de Dieu, c'est pour vous de chercher la posture de la de chercher of a sincere heart. Le cœur sincère devant Dieu. When your heart has, has been proven, Quand ton cœur a été prouvé that it is pure, que c'est pur, that it is right. que c'est juste, you are a man, même si tu es un homme d'affaires, it does not matter ça ne compte where pas the will come from. où tu viens, whether you are a man of God, même si tu es un homme de Dieu, it does not matter ça ne compte pas where the Christians, où les chrétiens, où les partenaires, où les fils, where they are going to come from. Just maintain the state of your heart. And the state of your heart will begin to show the customers. Will begin to show the Christians. Will begin to show the partners. Whatever you want in your life, let your heart be pure. When your heart is pure, God is about to visit you. Something Quelque chose doit mourir dans ton cœur. Something Quelque chose must die in your heart doit mourir dans ton cœur. For your heart pour que ton cœur doit être décrit plus devant Dieu. After we have prayed, après avoir prié, after we have come to church, après d'être à l'église, after we have prayed our tithes, après payer nos titres, after our titles, après nos titres, God will still have to carry our records and take it before the throne. Amener devant le trône. And begin to search. Et commence à fouiller. Who paid tithes today? Qui a payé la dîme? Who gave offering today? Qui a donné les offrandes? Who came to church today? Qui est venu à l'église? All our faces will visages. show before God. Vont apparaître devant Now, Dieu. Now, our coming to church. Nous venons à l'église. Our activities. Nos activités. God will mark it right. Dieu va corriger cela juste sight. de son côté. Now, God wants to go. Maintenant, Dieu veut. To give the rewards. Va, veut donner les récompenses. To check. Who gave that tithe? Qui a payé cette dîme? From his heart. De son cœur. Who came to church today? Qui est venu à l'église aujourd'hui? With a pure heart. Avec un cœur pur. Who dropped offering today? Qui a donné l'offrande aujourd'hui? With a pure heart. Avec un cœur pur. Who helped the family today? Qui a aidé la famille aujourd'hui? With a pure heart. Avec un cœur pur. Who served the husband today? Qui a servi son mari aujourd'hui? With a pure heart. Avec un cœur pur. Who honored the wife today? Qui a honoré sa femme aujourd'hui? With a pure heart. Avec un cœur pur. And he sends the angel. Et il envoie l'ange. Go and give them their reward. Va leur donner leur récompense. And anyone. Que toute personne that came without a pure heart. qui est venue à, à, avec un cœur qui n'est pas pur, that is why you will keep on living in frustration. C'est la raison pour laquelle tu vas continuer à demeurer dans la frustration. The reason why we are frustrated in church today. La raison pour laquelle nous sommes à l'église aujourd'hui. The frustration of Christians in church today. La frustration des chrétiens à l'église aujourd'hui. It's not lack of prayer. Ce n'est pas manque de prière. It's not lack of the word. Ce n'est pas manque de la parole. It's not lack of giving. Ce n'est pas manque de donner. But it is the state of our heart. Mais c'est l'état de notre cœur. We come to church. Nous venons à l'église. As if we are coming to give favor to Prophet Asamu. Comme si vous venez favoriser Prophet Asamu. We come to church. Nous donnons à l'église. As if we are giving favor to the man of God. Comme si tu fais une faveur à l'homme de Dieu. You come to church. Tu viens à l'église. As if you are doing God's favor. Comme si tu favorises Dieu. Show me today, Christians of God. Écoutez-moi aujourd'hui, chrétiens de Dieu. God does not need you. Dieu n'a pas besoin de toi. But you need God. Mais toi, tu as besoin de Dieu. Dans tout ce que tu fais. Dans God in His kingdom. Ça veut dire que Dieu dans son royaume. Can rule His kingdom. Peut roi ou roi. Without your offering. Contrôler son royaume sans tes offrandes, sans ta dîme. Without your coming. Sans ton venir. Mais toi, you cannot do your business. Tu ne peux pas faire tes you affaires. Cannot run your ministry. Tu ne peux pas you cannot faire ton ministère. Your children. Tu ne peux pas Without the prendre de tes enfants sans la main de so Dieu. God does not need your help. Donc Dieu n'a pas besoin de ton aide. You need the help of Mais tu as besoin de l'aide de Dieu. Somebody, dis voisin. Touche ton neighbor. voisin. Dis voisin. Touche ton neighbor. Touche ton voisin. Dis voisin. God does not need your help. Dieu n'a pas besoin de ton aide. But you. Mais toi. Need the help of God. Tu as besoin de l'aide de Dieu. Alléluia. So please never think. S'il vous plaît, ne pense jamais. That you are coming to church. Que tu es venu à l'église. You are giving favor to man of God. Tu favorises l'homme de Dieu. Never think you are giving in church. Ne pense pas qu'en donnant à l'église. Tu vas faire pour le man of God. Tu as besoin de donner la nourriture à l'homme de Dieu. God does not need your food. Dieu n'a pas besoin de ta nourriture. Pour nourrir son serviteur. God does not need your approval. Dieu n'a pas besoin de ta nourriture. Dieu n'a pas besoin de ton ok pour manger à son serviteur. Dieu n'a pas besoin de toi. To bless your family. Pour bénir ta famille.
Call God. Pour que Dieu s'appelle Dieu. Without you in that family. Sans toi dans cette famille. God will still raise another person. Dieu va toujours élever une autre so personne. So whatever we are doing. Donc peu importe ce que nous faisons. In serving God. En servant Dieu. In coming to church. En venant à l'église. In giving in the house of God. En donnant dans la maison du Seigneur. It is a privilege. C'est un privilège. By the mercies of God. Par la misère de Dieu. That we have been allowed. Que nous avons été laissés. To partake from this glorious encounter. De faire part dans cette rencontre. Amen. So something must die in your heart. Donc quelque chose doit mourir dans ton cœur. For your heart to be pure. Pour que son ton cœur doive être pur. Something happened to Isaiah the prophet. Quelque chose s'est passé à Isaïe le prophète. In Isaiah chapter six. En Isaïe chapitre six. Imagine a mighty prophet. Imagine qu'un grand prophète. He has been prophesying to people. Il prophétise aux gens. He has been praying for people. Il avait la possibilité de prier aux gens. He had a very big church. Il avait une grande église. With thousands of Christians. Avec des chrétiens. Some of you have very big business. Certains parmi avec des grandes affaires. Many children. Beaucoup des enfants. Big families. Pour des grandes familles. But the time come in the life of Isaiah. Isaiah said that when when King Uzziah died, I Isaiah, I saw the Lord. Amen. Amen. When did Isaiah saw the Lord? When did Isaiah saw the Lord? When King Uzziah died. That means for you to see the Lord. That place in your heart must die. For you to see the Lord. That spirit of gossip in your heart must die. For you to see God's blessing. That stinginess in you must die. Isaiah said that when King Uzziah died. He said, "I saw the Lord, and the throne of God was seated above, and it was high." In verse two, he said, "I saw the seraphim; they were moving up and down upon the throne of God." And what did God say again? He said that when he saw what he saw. She said, "Oh, I thought I have been coming to church. I thought I have been paying tithe in church. I thought I have been helping my family. I never knew that there was something in my heart that I did not even know." And he said, "When he made that confession, an angel of the Lord came down from heaven with a coal in his hands and touched his lips." When the lips were touched, something happened to his heart. That that pride, that anger, that jealousy, that shame, that ability to manifest God died in his heart. And the next thing, in chapter in verse eight, he said, "I saw the Lord. I heard the voice of God. I heard that voice." Who said, "Who shall I send? And who will go for us?" That voice is coming to you today. God is calling you. Who is He going to send in your family? Who is He going to send in this ministry? All of your children. Who is He going to send? God will send only that one. That anger has died in His heart. In the year. In the year that pride died in my heart, my marriage prospered. In the year that pride died in my heart, my business prospered. In the year that that ability to manifest God, that ability to, to control myself, died in my heart. That was the year that I received expansion from God. Something was dead in your heart today. For you to see God, for you to hear the voice of God, it is beyond prayer, my people. For you to encounter the living God, it is beyond carrying your Bible to church. In order to hear the voice of God, hear me, man of God, it is beyond calling for crusades. It is beyond going to seek for the face of God. It is beyond calling for partners. It is beyond going for a big hall. The first place we begin this journey. La première endroit où on commence ce Ask voyage. God, demande à Dieu. Let us do business with my heart. Que Dieu fait les affaires avec mon cœur. Father, do business with my heart. Dieu fait les affaires avec mon cœur. Do business in my heart. Seigneur, fais le business avec mon cœur. If you are a businessman, si tu es un homme d'affaires, the year, l'année, that anger, que la colère, that that spirit in you. To talk to customer killers. In the year that you will die, your business will prosper. In the year that is Isaiah the prophet. That in the year 
that the Uzziah died. I, the prophet, I, the businessman, I, the woman, tell me to church day and night. When my idea, my dream morning in the house of God, is feeding my pastor. In the year, that coming to church is to please my man of God. When he died in my heart, I saw the hand of the Lord. Man of God, the year that the ability to show to the world that you have been called by God, the year he died in your heart, that is the year that God will hold your hand as he took David from the wilderness and said, let us go to the palace. You have been a king. I have tested you. I have gone through all the, all the pages of your life. And I have seen that light in your heart. The desire to be known. To always prove a point. It is not in you. Let us go to the palace. From today, I am making you king over Israel. There are some of you here today. God have destined you to be kings over your families, to be kings over businesses. In your heart. That if you do not deal with this, no matter how we come to church, no matter our titles in society, there's something beyond that. David said. In Psalms 51 and verse 17, he said the sacrifices of God are a broken heart, a pure heart. He says, God, you cannot turn away your face from somebody with this type of heart. So the moment God sees your heart, that it is broken, that it is pure, God don't need your prayers anymore. Are we blessed this morning? This is deliverance for you. Believers, you don't change by looking for another place to do ministry. You don't change in business by changing the business you are doing. You don't change as a housewife by changing a man. You don't change as a husband by getting married to another woman. There is a place where men are being changed. There is a place where servants are being changed. That is where God begins to set you up. Allow yourself to that supernatural doctor. The one that does operation. Celui qui fait les opérations Without mistakes. sans les erreurs. You, les docteurs ne peuvent vous opérer. And you can share there was an error. Et tu entends qu'il y a une erreur. But when God is that doctor, et quand Dieu est le docteur, là, heart, qui est dans ton cœur, there can never be a mistake. Il n'y aura jamais les erreurs. So when you see somebody, quand tu vois quelqu'un, serving God, serving Dieu, with passion, avec la passion, with zeal, avec, and you see God moving him forward, et tu le vois avancer, hear me, écoute-moi, it, it, it goes beyond prayers. Ça veut dire que c'est plus que autant que ceux qui font des prières. It is beyond coming to church. It is beyond being a son. It is when the motive of your heart. When God has passed through through fire. The Bible says in my house. That there are two types of verses. One. Verse of gold. And verse of silver. Another verse. Verse of clay. And vessel of wood. And what God uses to test all the two vessels, He says, I pass them through fire. Let me show you how each react when passed through fire. When you pull the wood through fire, the wood will catch fire and burn. When you pass the through fire, the clay will crack. And it will have no use. But hear me, believers. With silver, when you pass gold through fire, the gold is refined. The true nature of that gold is revealed. For the work that God needs to do for His honor. There is no man in the Bible that God used them by chance. There is nobody in the Bible in our world today. When you see our father prophet A. Samuel, when you see how God is using him, share the circuit today. 
écouter. It is beyond prayers. Le secret aujourd'hui c'est au delà de la prière. It is beyond praying. C'est au delà d'aller à l'église. It is beyond helping people. C'est au delà de donner. It is beyond preaching. C'est au delà de la prédication. Your preaching can be correct. Ta prédication peut être juste. You are going to the orphanage can be correct. Toi aller à l'orphelinat peut être juste. You are laying of hands can be correct. Toi et par contre ne même pas être juste. But you are the state of your heart. Mais la état de ton cœur n'est pas juste. This is the secret behind the, the grace of Prophet A. Samuel. Ça c'est le secret de derrière la grâce de Prophet A. Samuel. Before he stepped out here. Avant de aller dehors. His heart condition. L'état de son cœur. Has passed through fire. A traversé le feu. And when it is purified. Et quand ça a été purifié. God and say go. Dieu peut dire vas-y. Go and bless my people. Va bénir mon peuple. Go and heal my people. Va guérir mon peuple. Alleluia. Amen. We must ask God to search our heart. On va demander à Dieu de fouiller nos cœurs. Don't be deceived. Ne sois pas trompé. The Bible says that in the heart of man. La Bible dit que le cœur de l'homme est trompé. Then you the honor of that heart. Avec que toi, it will deceive you. Qui a ce cœur, ça peut te tromper. I am right. Que je suis juste. My husband is wrong. Mon mari est faux. I am right. Moi je suis juste. My father is wrong. Mon père est faux. I am right. Moi je suis juste. I know what I am saying. Je sais ce que je dis. That is your heart for you. Ça c'est ton cœur pour toi. Allow God. Laisse Dieu. To search you. De fouiller ton cœur. Never go before God. N'allez jamais devant Dieu. As that business woman. Comme cette femme d'affaires. Never go before God. Ne pas jamais devant Dieu. As that great man of God. En tant que cette grande femme d'affaires. Never go before God. Ne pas jamais devant Dieu. As that mighty singer. En tant que cette grande femme d'affaires. Always go before God. Pas toujours devant Dieu. As someone comme que cette femme d'affaires. Que son cœur. Has a problem. A un problème. Lord, despite the way you are using me. Peu importe comment tu utilises. Despite the way you are using me to help my family. Peu importe comment tu utilises dans ma famille. Despite the way you are using me, Lord. Peu importe comment tu utilises. To sustain the misery of my husband. To sustain my family, there's still something in my heart. Lord, deal with my heart. Lord, destroy anything in me. Seigneur, détruis tout. Pour ma famille. Il va faire que je. The cry of David. Les pleurs de David. Day and night. Jour et nuit. David never cried for breakthrough. David n'a jamais pleuré pour le bien. David did not cry for healing. David n'a jamais pleuré pour le bien. David did not cry for business expansion. David n'a jamais pleuré pour le bien. David never asked for. David n'a jamais demandé à Dieu. David never asked for. Au mal mon ministère. Increase my voice. Au mal ma voix. Give me visibility. Donne-moi la visibilité. You say, Father, search my heart. Il a dit, Père, fouille mon cœur. Because I know, Lord. Parce que je sais. That when you deal with the heart of man, there is nothing you cannot give me. Que quand tu traites avec le cœur de l'homme, il n'y a rien que tu ne peux pas donner à l'homme. Whatever you cannot give God, God can never give it to you. Dieu ne peut pas te donner ça. Whatever you cannot surrender to God, Dieu ne peut pas te donner ça. Whatever you cannot surrender to God, Dieu ne peut pas te donner ça. Whatever you cannot surrender to God, Dieu ne peut pas te donner ça. Whatever you cannot surrender to God, Dieu ne peut pas te donner ça. Whatever you cannot surrender to God, Dieu ne peut pas te donner ça. Whatever you cannot surrender to God, Dieu ne peut pas te donner ça. Whatever you cannot surrender to God, Dieu ne peut pas te donner ça. Whatever you cannot surrender to God, Dieu ne peut pas te donner ça. Whatever you cannot surrender to God, Dieu ne peut pas te donner ça. Whatever you cannot surrender to God, Dieu ne peut pas te donner ça. Whatever you cannot surrender to te concernant et juste your heart is corrupted. et ton cœur est corrompu Everything about you has failed. toute chose qui te concerne If you go to the hospital, si tu vas à l'hôpital le docteur peut te dire that your eyes are okay. que tes yeux sont ok your liver is okay. tes poumons sont ok your hands are okay. tes mains sont your ok, brain is okay. ton cerveau est ok But you have an issue with your heart. mais tu as un problème avec ton cœur il va te dire que tu vas prendre la grâce de Dieu il va seulement dire que ça va prendre seulement la grâce de Dieu. Ça veut dire tes affaires. Can be standing okay. Peut être ok. Your children. Tes enfants peuvent être ok. Peut être ok. Your wife. Ta femme. Can be okay. Peut être ok. But your heart. Mais ton cœur. Has an issue. A un problème. And God will go and He will go a long way. Et ça va aller. To destroy every other thing in you. Pour détruire tout ce qui te concerne. Principalities and powers. Les principautés et les puissances. Et là, elle est vraie. Satan is real, but Satan only uses one medium to have access into your life. He uses the state of your heart. Il utilise l'état de ton cœur. If your heart is pure, si ton cœur est pur, Satan will have no way. Satan n'aura pas de chemin. If your mind is pure, si ta pensée est pure, in all the things you do, tout ce que tu fais, Satan will have no access into your life. Satan n'aura pas d'accès dans ta vie. That means if all you have done, ça veut dire que si tout ce que tu as fait, is good, est bien, and you don't have results, et tu n'as pas de résultats, stop the activities. And turn back to God. Go back to that one. That knows you more than you know yourself. Go back to that one. That knows your ways even more than you know yourself. It is true. C'est vrai. You can know the man of God. Que tu peux connaître l'homme de Dieu. You can know the sons of the prophet. Tu peux connaître les fils du prophète. But when it comes to the dealings of God, mais quand il s'agit de tout, it is beyond knowing a man of God. Dieu, c'est au-delà de connaître l'homme de Dieu. It is beyond impartation of prayer. C'est au-delà d'impartation de prière. It is beyond sacrifice. C'est au-delà des sacrifices. Your sacrifices are wonderful. Tes sacrifices sont justes. But it will not take your sacrifice. Mais ça ne va pas prendre tes sacrifices. To hear the voice of God. D'entendre la voix de Dieu. God only speaks to those. Dieu parle seulement à ceux. Whose heart has been purified. Que leur cœur a été purifié. When there's an issue with your heart, quand il y a un problème avec 
avec ton cœur. Even if your health is good. Même si ta santé est bonne. Even if everything about you is okay. Même si tout ce qui te concerne est okay. But if your heart has a problem. Même si ton cœur a un problème. Everything about you has a problem. Tout ce qui te concerne a un problème. Alléluia. Please let us readjust our mindset. S'il vous plaît, ajustez l'état de ton cœur. Coming to church. Ajustons l'état de nos cœurs. Our dresses, we are beautiful in it. Nos vêtements, nous sommes beaux. Nous sommes beaux. But let me shock you. Mais laissez-moi vous choquer. God does not consult your dress. Dieu ne consulte pas ton vêtement. In order to heal you. Pour te guérir. God does not consult your beautiful face. Dieu ne consulte pas ta beauté. Neither your title. Not call a man of God. That he will give you direct access to God. When the purity of your heart has been tested. When God looks at you and he sees a heart that is pure, a heart that does not seek for the decision of others, a heart that does not seek to glorify itself, a heart that has given all to God and says, Lord. If it is not you, then I am not in it. If that business, Lord, is not to glorify you, then I am not in that business. Whatever you cannot give to God, don't expect it from God. When your heart is right with God, you don't need to pray much. When your heart is right with your husband, blessings will follow you. When your heart is right with your father, God will uplift you. If it was about prayer, if it was about coming to church, Amaziah would have been the most mighty prophet in his generation. But God wrote it out and said, do not be deceived. Men look at your actions. Men look at the way you dance in church. Men look at the way you cry in church. But if in your cry, your heart is not also crying. If in your offering, your heart is not there, I have no part in it. And I know you not. Jesus said that on the last day they will say, Lord, I heal in your name. I, I have my family in your name. I gave that in your name. I, I blessed in your name. He will say, I know you not. Because when you were doing it, I was looking at your heart. As you are entering this door, God is not looking at your nice dress. God is looking at the heart. He said, this is the one I'm looking for. Please let us go back and examine our hearts. Never you ever think a day that it is because of your tithe that God is running his church. Never you think a day that it is because of your offering that church is living on. The day you have such idea in your heart, everything about you, whether you come to church, whether you pay tithe, whether you help family, all is vanity before God. Let me conclude by telling you this. After we have come to church, after prayers, after our giving, after our worship, after our praise, God will still have to mark our work. After your good work, after your good looks, God will still have to mark you again. Because you can deceive men. You can deceive the world. You cannot deceive God. When your heart has been tested, when your heart has been purified, and you have passed that test, this is when God holds your hand. And He says, Anywhere you want to go, I will go with you. Any business you want to do, I will do the business now with you. You can do business on your own. You can come to church on your own. You can do what you do by your own. But when God is the one holding your hand, when God is the one leading you, even your enemy will favor you. When God is the one holding your hand and moving with you, he will turn your captivity around. That's what he said. That pain that pain may tarry for a night but joy Come in the morning. When you go through challenges, when you go through persecution, what God intends 
You want to purify your heart. He's working on the, your heart condition. There's still something wrong in you that God wants to remove. And when God finishes removing it, she will now say that when the Lord turns aside the captivity of Zion, they will like go that dream. The Bible says their mouth was filled with laughter. This is when you have passed the test. And God now holds your hand as a man of God. God holds your hand as a businesswoman. God holds your hand as a businesswoman and says, let's go. And why the world will be insulting at, at you that you have put your hand somewhere. God is busy glorifying his name and say, I have found one and let me go with him. Amen. So it means the church can be okay. The partners can be okay. The Christians can be okay. The Christians can be okay. Can be okay. Tout peut être okay. But if your heart condition si has a problem, 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 you will keep on living in frustration. Tu vas you will keep on living in regret. Tu vas à vivre Whereas dans les regret. activities les are right, juste. but the state of your heart de ton is wrong. Hallelujah. Amen. This, this is a call for us Ça, un appel pour nous to go back to God de rentre, de à Dieu and ask God. Et de à Dieu. Don't be ashamed. Pas honte. Don't be ashamed. Pas honte. Tell him God. Dis à Dieu. I thought I was submissive to my husband. Je que à mon mari. But I have discovered Mais that there is still a lot of anger in me. Y a la colère à moi. I thought I was submissive, Lord. Je pense que je à I never knew Mais je pas that there is still pain. There is still jealousy. There is still pride living in me. Lord, take it away from me. When you tell God that you don't want to fail him, I don't want to fail my children, Lord. I don't want to fail my generation. But you must do something to my heart. Because if my heart is purified, my ways are purified. If your heart is pure, si ton mon cœur your pure, business is pure. Tes affaires sont pures. If your heart is pure, si mon cœur your pure, ministry is pure. Ton ministère pure. If your heart is pure, si ton cœur pure, everything about you tout ce qui te concerne must be pure. Serait pure. Because good Parce que only follow good. Le bon and righteousness la only follow righteousness. La Let us go back to God à Dieu and tell him et à Dieu that it is true, Lord. Que est vrai, Seigneur. I have been the holy mountain ministry for long. I have been a partner for Dans long. Années, été un I have been a son here for long. Un, un fils ici. But I never knew that when something will, will strike me, que quand quelque chose, this is how I will behave. Si quelque chose Never me assume me comme ça. that you are humble. Ne pense que Never tu assume ne pense that you are submissive. Que tu es Never assume ne pense that you can help anybody que tu peux qui. until something touches their heart in you. Touche That's when they raise you. So my prayer for everyone here today. I don't know what God has destined you for. I don't know what God has given into your hands. But as you are living from giving here today, because you have heard the voice of the Lord. And remember, when a message comes forth, there is a grace, there is a spirit that enters the hearts of men. And when it enters your heart, you will begin to merge. You will begin to submit. You will begin to identify your own point where you have not yet died. And while you are going down, that is how God is entering your life. So as you are living here today, I don't know what has been holding you back. I don't know where you have gone to. I don't know who you have visited because of your problems. When you go back today, you will adjust your heart. Forget about what they have said. Forget about what you have gone through. Forget what they have done to you. You can begin a new life today. And when God will send down that angel, when he will enter your family, God will say, who shall I send? Who will go for us? And you say, Lord, here am I. If you find me worthy, Lord, if you see my heart faithful, if you see me worthy, send me, Lord, and I will go. So my prayer for you is that 
when God will want to send you next again, God will find you worthy. God will see you faithful. And God will see your heart. And he will send you where he wants to send you. And your family will rejoice because God has sent you. Your generation, they are going to rejoice because God has sent you. So I pray for you that from today, as you are living here, you will not only be a vessel of dishonor, if you have been a vessel of wood, a vessel of clay, is it at your job site? Is it to your husband? Is it to your wife? As you are living here, you have become a vessel of gold. You have become a vessel of silver for the glory of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, please let us seek unto God. You don't seek God by going for prayers. You don't seek God first by reading your Bible. You don't seek God first by going to help people. First thing to seek God, free your mind, keep your heart in order. When your heart is in order, God will order your life. When your heart is in order, God will order your marriage. When your heart is in order, God will order your job. When your heart is in order, no matter comes your way, no matter the difficulties in your life, no matter the persecution in your marriage, you will still find peace. Whenever you don't find peace, because of challenges, it means something has touched your heart. There are people who are suffering, who are going through hell, but you can see them rejoicing. You can see them still serving God. It is because their heart condition is still in place. When your heart has been destroyed, everything about you has been in Jesus' name. God bless you all.